Hello and welcome to another update of the OpenGL ES2 graphics engine I've been developing on the Raspberry Pi and uh, I just wanted to give you an update which I haven't done for a long time and of course I haven't yet put the code um, simply because it code keeps changing and I wouldn't want people to start using code that, that will frustrate them if it keeps changing. So I wanted to demonstrate a little mini project which is a castle editor and um, show you something called hierarchical um, level of detailing. Uh, this castle editor has a whole section of castle parts at the bottom here you see and uh, we have a, an area of ground to, to build them on. We have also on the right hand side a man as an idea of scale with a bit of animation and this is all on a Raspberry Pi uh, Model B Plus version 3 so um, it's working amazingly well for this this piece of technology I'm, I'm still amazed and always will be at what the Raspberry Pi can do so let's start us let's start by building a quick castle and uh, I'm going to zoom out and uh, we're going to start using some of these sections like the round tower and let's add some walls to it and we can add them this way and rotate them round Let's add some square sections, some square tower sections if you like. And we'll put a gate in the middle there. And you can see very quickly I can build up a castle in no time whatsoever. But you're going to find something a bit different from this, from other builders if you like, that this one offers. And uh, basically that's why I was just, I'm just going to do a little bit more and they'll see what I mean. Okay, so add a bit more, and let's add a few more bits like a, a lean to, add a few details. A couple of lean to lean to's over here, some over there. Let's add a path coming from the gate, and our guy will be walking on it as well. And uh, let's have a few buildings, <coughs> excuse me, like some houses. And one or two bigger ones. Let's try a keep. Let's have a keep on this side and put a dice in front of it. Oops, that's the wrong one. So I can actually just re immediately replace it. And if I don't want some other like houses in the way, I can just use a <clears throat> the brass section to um, cover it over again. So let's add a couple more sections there and uh, let us add in say a stable over here another stable and what else can we put oh yes let's, to finish off we'll put a well at the end here and uh, maybe one more of these buildings let us put uh, also just to finish off one or two trees which sort of make it look quite nice Alright, so very quickly you could see I could finish that off and it's taken me minutes to do that. And again, it's all on a Raspberry Pi. And what I can do now is I'm going to zoom back into the scene. And uh, and as I was pointing out, we've got a hierarchical level of detailing, which means as I move towards something, um, it shows more detail. I can walk inside each of these sections and walk up inside walk up the stairs. Um, I'm going to have uh, another more refined mode which allows me to add things like tables and chairs and, and beds or whatever and things to put on the walls so that these rooms can be actually um, adorned as well. So um, whilst we're using a hierarchical level of detailing you might think well adding all these extra things will slow it down significantly. In fact what happens is the all those those extra parts get um, embedded in with the house and of course when I walk away from the house um, using hierarchical level of detailing all those parts will just disappear and then nothing slows down so you can have very detailed um, area castle areas and it will there will be no apparent slowdown and uh, <clears throat> so now we can see here as we walking around we've got full animation if you look at the flags up there excuse me for the, for the German flags um, I just happen to have that sort of animation and put it up there but it gives an idea of the, 
the, the speed of the animation that, that's retained with the graphics engine on this Raspberry Pi, including our things like the um, the things like the fire, and um, all fully animated. So let us just go up inside one one of these towers, and again um, I'll be able to add anything into these, like um, an armory section, <coughs> people, um, anything you want in there. And you can see I can actually immediately start to walk around any of these areas. And notice it's all collision detected as well. So from here I can add more um, more buildings at any time. And just keep playing around with it until I'm, I'm happy. So let's just drop down. And that's... Um, still running at least there's some, something from 10 to 20 frames per second which is which is still quite reasonable on a raspberry pi i hope to also get that sort of speed on the pi zero i've yet to try it on the pi zero but uh, there should be no reason why because there's any slowdown uh, since the same graphics processor is on the raspberry pi zero as there is on the, the model b plus so anyway i thought i'd give you an idea of where I am with the graphics engine and I hope to release as soon as I can um, this completed graphics engine with lots of examples such as this um, castle editor. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.